I'm here with professional boxer Ryan Ford, former MMA star. Uh, so I got a few questions for you. In your eyes, who is Ryan the real deal Ford? Well, you know, Ryan Ford, first and foremost, is a family man. You know, take care of my family. That's the first come first. And then, uh, you know, Ryan the real deal Ford, you know, that's a different person. You know, that's that guy that everybody sees step into the ring or step into the cage and, you know, put on a show for the people. How did you get into boxing and who was your biggest influence? Um, you know, boxing I was always around with my life. Uh, obviously, my dad was Canadian ranked, uh, Canadian lightweight champion, ranked number three in the world. So, you know, boxing was always, uh, you know, in our household. Um, so, I'd have to say, you know, obviously my dad was an influence uh, to boxing. Uh, but, you know, my other biggest influences would be, uh, you know, Floyd Mayweather, uh, Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali, Hagler, Hearns, Leonard, you know, all those old school fighters who, you know, brought it. Um, and then, yeah, that's, that's, I'm even now messing it up for you. <laughs> that's all right. Um, what was it that made you leave boxing after your first pro fight and turn to MMA? Uh, well, actually, I was fighting MMA um, when I took that boxing fight. I believe I had about seven or eight mixed martial arts fights. And then, uh, you know, I had uh, two amateur fights that didn't go my way. So I was like, hey, I'm in the pro game now. Pro game was more my style anyway. So, um, you know, I took the fight against a, a tough opponent and won a majority decision. And uh, what was it that made you return to boxing? Um, you know, just, uh, you know, I had an injury that happened in mixed martial arts that, uh, you know, was um, kind of making it harder for me to train every day the way that mixed martial artists train, um, you know, and then also just being stuck in, uh, you know, in, in one organization. Everybody wants to fight at the best, but, you know, when the best don't want you, how can you fight the best if they say the best is there. So, you know, I took, took it over to boxing here and, you know, I feel boxing's more of a global sport and I can go all around the world and win belts and make a lot of more money than it's martial arts. Uh, so many MMA fighters try boxing and fail and the same goes vice versa with boxers going to MMA. How is it that you're going to succeed where others have failed? I'm different than everybody else, you know, I'm the real deal. You know, uh, boxing was, you know, what I was brought up on, I guess, you know, it's in my blood. So, uh, you know, that's the thing with mixed martial arts. Nobody wanted to stand with me. As soon as I hit them, they wanted to take me down because they knew that jiu-jitsu was uh, my weakness. So, you know, um, as you can tell, my last couple fights, uh, you know, I turned into a boxing ring against guys who've had, you know, 15 pro boxing fights. I'm here to stay. And do you plan on doing boxing only, or are you thinking that you might possibly return to MMA after some time? No, boxing is my, uh, boxing is it. It's my main focus, you know. It's boxing and my family, you know. There's two things that, you know, I eat, breathe, and sleep, and that's my family and boxing. And uh, you kept busy since returning in September, and uh, you fought once this month. Uh, you had plans to fight in November. What happened there? Yeah, no, um, I guess something's going on with the cart here. I guess they're moving it a little bit too closer to uh, my date back here in Edmonton. So, um, I don't know, we're on the lookout right now. So, you know, any boxing promotions out there in Canada that have a fight card, you know, beginning of November or middle of November, I'm the guy right here. I make sure I go to finish fights, put on a show. And you're fighting for sure in December at the Shaw Conference Center, correct? Yes, December 4th, the real deal's back putting on for a city. Any names been mentioned yet as possible opponents? Um, no, they've had a few names, but I guess they've backed out now. You know, it's the uh, name of the game here now. You know, I had that problem with mixed martial arts, and I believe it's going to be a little bit of a problem right now, but, you know, I, they'll come. And uh, the end of the year is coming up quickly. What are your expectations for next year, and what can boxing fans expect from you? Uh, for next year, you know, obviously this year, if I can get this fight in November, I want to be 4-0. And next year, early next year, I want that Canadian title, super middleweight title. Um, and then, you know, from there, sky's the limit. Thank you very much for your time, Ryan. No problem. Thanks a lot.